y'all, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today it's a blast from the past. I want to show you how to create this vintage card with our Oval Scroll Duo and Special Delivery Stamp Set. When you first get our Oval Scroll Duo, snip apart the wire connectors that hold the three dies together. For this card, I want to keep the outer oval and scallop together. Just snip at the base of each connector, and to avoid having the connector fly, cover with your finger. Make sure your skin is out of the way and snip. Now put together the sandwich you need to cut the paper. And because the die is pretty intricate, I'm going to add a shim so that it cuts all the way through those parts cleanly. Now let's put the base together. Start with a piece of 5.5 by 11 inch piece of olive cardstock. I'll be using three inks to make this card vintage, Marvy Yellow, Ochre, and Brown, and I'll be using my handy dandy stylus. The next largest piece is a square of 5.25 by 5.25. I'll apply the yellow with my stylus all the way around the edges. The yellow will go the farthest into the paper. Now the smallest pattern square is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow. Apply it all the way around the edges and the yellow will go the furthest into the paper. And now for the mauve square. That one's going to mat the green one that I just sponged. The mauve square is four and a half by four and a half. And I want the color to come through so I won't go as heavy on this square. And finally, a pattern strip that is one and a half by six inches. I'm flagging the strip at the ends. And I'll go ahead and sponge that with the yellow as well. Now I'm done with the yellow. Repeat the same application with the ochre, not sponging in as far as I did with the yellow. Now let's speed it up a bit while I go through all the other pieces. And with the ochre. And finally the brown. You don't need as much brown, just the edges. That little bit of brown really does help to make this look more vintage. Now let's fold the card base in half and layer up the papers to see how it looks. I'd like to add a little scallop to the bottom of the, the smaller square, so we'll use our Queen of Hearts cut ups. This die cuts two borders at the same time, so you can choose which one you like. And as you can see, it's a really great way to use scraps of paper just like this end piece that I would have thrown away. A bit of low tack artist tape to hold it in place and I'll run it through the die cut machine. See two different borders. I'll just snip it apart and ink it up. And I'm just using whatever's left on the applicator to ink it. Attached to the bottom of the small square, centering the scallops in the square, and just trim off the excess. Let's get stamping. I've used the matching free cutting files for the special delivery stamp set 
to cut the mouse, and now I'm inking up the stamp from the set using VersaFine Black. Looks good. Now let's color them up. I'm using the card as a reference for the colors. And I've pulled some Prismacolor pencils that I think will look good with the card and match the papers. Start light with the pencils, gradually building up the color as I go along. Light it first, and then darker where I think it needs to be. Right now I'm just putting down a light color layer. So I'm going darker. And if I color over something or go too heavy, I can always erase. That's something you really can't do with watercolor. That's looking pretty good. Now let's add a sentiment. This set has a bunch of different sayings to choose from. And I think special delivery is good. Now I think I want to add a sentiment in the corner. I have a bit of this note paper from another project that I cut with one of the dies in the Topper's die set. And I'll just stamp using VersaFine Black. But I think I want to include the top with a sentiment instead of it being at the bottom. So I'll just stamp near the top. That looks good. Now I'll just trim it down and age along the edges. I'm just using whatever's on my applicator. Now apply to the card with a little foam tape on the back. And maybe a button with a glue dot. I like that. Now let's put together the rest of the card. I like the oval scallop here. Not quite sure about the strip. But let's put down the oval scroll for right now. I think for the strip, I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter and then trim off the edge. I think I'm going to change this around a little bit later on but this will work for right now. Now for the mouse. I think I want a little bit more interest by the mouse, so I'll add some twine loops. And this is easy enough to do. I'm just going to put some foam tape on the back of the mouse to make him stand up and set him aside. Now get an acrylic block that is as wide as you want the loops to be. I want them on either side of the mouse, so this size block is perfect. Just wind the twine around loosely about three times because I want three loops on either side of the mouse. Now I'll just cut it off and I'll slide the loops off the acrylic block. Now to secure the loops, take the loose end right by where you clipped it off and wrap it around the loops. Then slide the end through the loop that you created and pull. See how that secures the loops? Want to see it again? I'll just wind the twine around loosely about three times because I want three loops on either side of the mouse. Now I'll just cut it off 
then I'll slide the loops off the acrylic block. Take the loose end right by where you clipped it off and wrap it around the loops. Then slide the end through the loop that you created and pull. And that's it. Now I'll just place the loops where I want them and remove the backing from the mouse and put it over the twine to secure the twine to the card. And a little snip. I think I'm going to fuss around with the layout a little bit, but I think this is pretty close to being done. Making a vintage card is easy. I hope you give it a try. You can find all the stamps and dies on the Cat's Pajamas website. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.